Hey guys, how's it going? This is Delphal Lockpicker here, and I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered what a lock looks like after a locksmith has been called to remove a lock from a storage container? What I have for you under this towel right here is some real-world examples of what some locks look like after they have been serviced by a locksmith. I'm going to give you a closer look, and I'm going to reveal that for you in just a second. Please stay tuned. Before I reveal these locks, the first thing I want to say is, I want to try to look at this through the lens of a locksmith and not a lock picker. When you're out on a call, your goal is to get the lock opened up and move on to the next call, and you want to do this effectively as possible because you want to keep your current customer happy and all your future customers happy because you need to be able to make it to your calls. Locks in the field are much more difficult to pick than locks at home because you have all the environmental factors. The locks might be at an inconvenient angle and it might just be a little bit difficult to do it under pressure. Also a well weathered lock is much more difficult to pick than a brand new lock out of the package. So when you take a look at these locks here you can see that they are a variety of disc locks and also a standard padlock. But the one thing that you can see on all of them is that they have been destructively entered. And that is a very common way a locksmith is going to open up a lock if you call them to open up one off of a storage container. One thing I'd like to point out is, yes, these locks might be easy for someone to pick at home, but when you take a look at it through the lens of a locksmith, the lock is often going to be installed up like this, the keyway is going to be upside down, and then when you take a look at the keyway, it has an Abus looking keyway, and that's not the easiest keyway to get into, especially when you're trying to pick it at an awkward angle. So when you are trying to get a lock opened in the field, it could be 100 degrees out, it could be negative 10 degrees out, it could be at an awkward angle, it could be raining. It's just not going to be as easy as picking a lock at home, and also time is of the essence. Another thing to take into account is a lot of the locks can get pretty grimy. You can see this one with the M1 keyway. It looks like a pretty well-worn lock, and those pens aren't going to move as freely as a lock that were brand new. But the take home message I'd like to share with you today is I just wanted to show an example of what a real world lock might look like if you call a locksmith to get it removed. Don't be surprised if they resort directly to destructive entry because they are not as well versed in picking as we are and they need to get the job completed and getting the lock open is their only task. And I just want to say that that is no fault to the locksmith at all. And I just want to say that this is a pretty cool thing to see. These locks actually were sent to me by the board lock picker, who is a current locksmith. And I just want to say thank you so much for sending them my way. If you haven't checked him out already, I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check out his channel and consider subscribing. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, or you'd like to share any experiences you've had with the locksmith, I'd love to see them in the comment section below. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and if you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you all have a great day, and thank you so much for checking it out.